and welcome to day five of Vlogmas. I cannot believe it's going by so quickly. Quick uh, thing to mention, tomorrow I'm actually going to be live. So if you wanted to join, I, it's gonna be between 1.30 and 2. I'm not really sure exactly of the time. It's going to be closer to 1.30 and I am going to be live with Victoria of Vita Lifestyle. So I'm super, super excited about that. And we are going to talk about the advent so far. Um, I don't know, I have a bunch of questions for her. So pop in tomorrow live if you'd like. If not, the replay will be up in the evening, just like always. Did you see that I decorated the entrance hall? I love that. I don't love, I, I love the way it looks. I don't love decorating it. I really don't. It's It just takes forever. And to get that garland around the banister, it usually takes me two or three times. I don't know why. Some Sometimes it takes one time and I'm all proud of myself to get it exactly right. And I didn't even get it exactly right this time. And I was like, you know what? This is the way it's gonna be. <laughs> so um, I do love the way that it looks. And then I, I zoomed in on the wreath, the, um, What's that called? It's an ornament wreath that my mother made me. It's one of the last gifts that, that uh, she had made and given me. And uh, she made it all about me, you know? So it had the lamb in there and an angel. Because I was one. I wasn't really, but I really was. And then, um, you know, like she made them for, you know, my, all my siblings. And so it's nice. Some of them are red and green, but mine were silver and gold. Uh, so that's one of my favorites. And then this, I did that last evening. And then this morning I decorated the tree in my knitting room. So that's what you got to see. I also spent some time spinning this morning. Oh my gosh, did I have fun. So I did what's called a fractal spin. I took the braid from yesterday, which is two ounces, and I split it in half. And then that one, the one that I was spinning in the morning, that one was, I just spun it right from there. And then the second half, I cut that in half again, and then I spun one, and then I spun the next one. And um, what that's supposed to do is to get that pretty barber pulling so that it just, it's gonna be great. So I do have those to show you. Uh, and I actually timed myself because I was kind of, I, I was kind of um, curious. For one ounce, it took me an, just about an hour. And then uh, I did the other one. So you can't, it doesn't really look like much now. So I'm going to let, so what happens is when you spin them, you're putting a lot of energy in there and you're spinning it either clockwise or counterclockwise. I choose to spin my singles count, uh, clockwise and then ply them counterclockwise. These are spun Z or Z twist and then they're going to be S plied. Uh, that's just the way that they're called. And here they are. So what happens is I spun these today. I'm going to let them sit for about 12 hours and then I'm going to ply them tomorrow morning. So you won't see that because I will, I'm going live tomorrow, but I will, ha I will show you what it looks like. Um, either the next day, I don't know. I'm going to be here every single day. So whenever you see it but this is what it looks like and of course I'll film it and I'll put it up there uh, but let me tell you how much fun I am having with that and now that I know that it takes about two hours to spin I can and it'll probably take about an hour to ply so I can plan my day with uh, the way that I want it you know with getting them done. And then I thought, wouldn't this be gorgeous when it's all applied together? This was day one, which I believe was moth from Primrose Yarn. Wouldn't it be like a great alpine bloom, the, the 
the, it depends on how many yards I get. Man, mm, I love, love it. So that's, I don't, you know, I know, now I've noticed that since I do this, I say so, all, so, okay, okay, so. I have to cut that out so many times. Let's get to the advents. Day five for Victoria's Christmas Around the World is Festival of Lights for Hong Kong. Ooh. So here is day five. So pretty. Ooh, this is fun. Festival of Lights. That looks so pretty. Gorgeous. I have also knit four squares. Look how thin this is. <laughs> this is a great travel project. Uh, for those of you that haven't been joining every day, I am knitting the quilted pullover. And I've had a bunch of questions, so I am gonna, I'm, I am gonna put a poll up on my Instagram just because I, they, I've been getting questions and I want, I wanna answer them. The first question that I'm getting, because I have mentioned it a couple times, if you're knitting along with me, is should I open day 25? And like everything when you ask me about knitting, I usually always say it's knitter's choice, right? In my original one, in the sample, I wasn't sure I was going to have enough yarn because I was just knitting it. Um, and I didn't really have any information. So in every panel that I did, which there's five in the front and five in the back, I used one square of the panel with the, the full size skein. So I've had a lot of questions because some people are doing this with a different uh, advent than the Vita, ad, Vita Lifestyle Advent. Um, and, you know, their questions are, should I open day 25. You can if you want. My suggestion, I was talking to my girl Lisa. Hi Lisa! I was talking to her via Instagram and what I suggest, because she is doing a different advent, that they kind of look this, you know, they're, they're looking very similar. It's almost looking like a fade. And she's wondering if she should wait and open all of them or should she continue? And my thoughts are, which is what I'm going to do with this one, is I'm going to knit the back five panels in order, in order as they come out, out of the thing, right? Because each, each panel is five squares and five times five is 25. So the whole back panel will be in order what it is. And then when I go to do the front, I will pick and choose which ones I want to look, which I which ones I want to look to, you know, blah. I will pick which ones I want to go like I did with the first one. Because the first one, you have to remember, I did this in Nove I did it in November and I was using an advent that I had already opened. So if you're doing this with me, first of all, all these colors look awesome and fun together. And then this one is going to go on the top. And I think one of the fun things about this is to see all of the different colors together. Uh, so if you wanted to do it that way, that's what you should do. You should knit this and then we'll have the back on day 25, but don't worry. I have all the other stuff you can, you, you're going to do with me because I need them for the tutorial. So I am going to maybe go ahead. Maybe I'll do a whole other one. Who knows? But don't worry. Every week there will be tutorials. Not every day, but every week there will be tutorials that have to do with the techniques that you need to successfully knit the quilted pullover. And I am excited for the back to be in order. I think it's going to be great. Next up, Pink Christmas from Suburban Stitcher. Ooh. 
And I have decided with these that I am definitely going to knit the pattern that came with it. I, you know, I just, I love Telly Bean Knits. I loved what she did last year. And so I'm going to continue with that. So here is day five. It's like a beautiful raspberry color. I love it. And of course, as I'm seeing all these different colors, I'm like, oh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know. Now I'm really not sure if I'm going to do it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Tabitha from Long Island Yarn and Farm. And I wanted to let you all know that if you were to go on her website, she does uh, have farm tours. I've gotten a lot of comments and private messages about my little love, Grace, who was giving me kisses and was on yesterday. And so if you wanted to have a farm tour and you're going to be on Long Island, hit up Tabitha and, uh, or hit up Tabitha, call Tabitha and set up a barn tour. Because uh, she does do that. I'm going to get started on knitting day five and then I will have an entire panel finished. And I'm going to make dinner. <laughs> oh, uh, we went to see, my husband and I went to see Napoleon today with Joaquin Phoenix. And um, it was, it was long, uh, it was good, it, it was good, it was a little long, um, it, but it was very interesting to see that, that side of, of Napoleon, it was, it was, it was interesting. I was really cold in the theater and that kind of made it hard for me, but it was, it was really great and it was nice to go to move to the movie theater, it's been a while since I've been, uh, since I've been to one. And uh, so that's what we did today. So this morning I decorated a tree. I knit on my advent calendar. I spun that, uh, the primrose, the day one, which was moth and went to the movies. And now I'm filming this and then I'm going to go, I'm actually going to film a couple uh, tutorials with my hands while I'm up here in my studio the sheep locks wreath uh, workshop that's available on my website and it is uh, when you learn when you go and you teach in person you learn things that either you're not explaining all the way or you've realized a different way to explain something and so what I learned this weekend were was that when I was doing the lock technique I was only thinking of again, me being a thrower and not for the continental knitters. So the tutorial the other day was for crochet cast on for the continental knitters. And now I'm, I'm going to add the lock technique on, on the wreath locks, sheep locks wreath uh, workshop that's available on my website. And if you're interested, the link is down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your comments. Again, it's just, it's so much fun to read all of them. And it's just, it's just, it's so nice to feel connected. And I will see you tomorrow live around 1.30. Take care. Bye.